Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we talk about my favorite gear of 2020. Well, I think we can all agree that 2020 has been a very uh, interesting year. It has been a great year for gear, musical gear, guitars, amps, pedals, all sorts of stuff that came out almost a year ago at NAMM has started rolling out over the year and lots of cool stuff is now getting in all of our hands. And I wanted to pick some of my favorite pieces of those and talk about them a little bit. Now this video is sponsored by my friends at Sweetwater, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But right now I wanna get straight to my favorite gear of 2020. My first piece of favorite gear actually is a set of favorite gear is the inspired by Gibson Epiphone line. For a long time, the Epiphone stuff was, it was okay, it was all right. It never felt like a Gibson, even though uh, you know they're supposed to be a budget line Gibson. The new Inspired by Gibson series from Epiphone are really a, a step up for Epiphone as far as build quality and materials and fit and finish. And they look really, really amazing. I think the acoustics as of this filming uh, are just rolling out the Hummingbird and some other models. But uh, the ones I'm interested in is Les Paul Special, the SG and the 59 Les Paul. They all look very, very awesome. And I am stoked to uh, try to get some on the channel. My second favorite piece of gear of 2020 is the Rev G20. Now it seems like forever ago that it came out. I had to actually look this up. Came out of NAMM. Came out early 2020, almost a year ago. And forever, uh, everyone has wanted a smaller child of the much larger generator series that are so celebrated in the high gain community. And Rev delivered just that with the G20 and they threw a whole bunch of bells and whistles in while they were at it. It's definitely one of my favorite lunchbox amps ever. It sounds huge in a very, very small package. My friends at Sweetwater want me to tell you about their 48 month financing. So if you're looking at uh, some hot new new, but don't wanna pay upfront, you have options like 48 month financing. But if you wanna be a baller on a budget, check out the used gear place over at Sweetwater. That's right, they have a used gear section, which I was today years old when I found out about that. I had no idea. Now, if you're looking for last minute Christmas ideas, consider checking out the gifts that rock section of Sweetwater. They break down inexpensive, but good and useful gifts that you can fit right into a stocking. Love that. And last but not least, you can build your own Mesa Boogie. There is a custom configurator right on the Sweetwater website. You can design a cabinet or an amp, pimp it out with Tolex, make it however you want it to look. You press buy and you order it and it arrives to your house. Maybe we'll explore that in a future video. I'm not sure. However, you can find all of these things and more at sweetwater.com. I will link down below in the description. Number three on my favorite gear list of 2020 is the Mesa Boogie Badlander. Forever us rectifier guys have wanted a tight, high gain, just chug fest of an amp with a good clean channel. And maybe a few bells and whistles, but really something simple, maybe a modern version of the two channel dual rectifier that we all loved from the 90s. And they gave us just that with the Badlander. Uh, awesome amp, small, compact, you can rack mount it if you want. Comes with EL34s, which is super awesome. And really it's a stripped down, hot rod version of a rectifier. Well done. Number four, my favorite gear of 2020 is the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. Mine is due to arrive literally this afternoon as I film this. I checked it out at NAMM, spent some time with it, although it was very, very loud. It still sounded very, very good. I love what the Quad Cortex is doing for the modeling community as a whole. Innovation at this level pushes everybody forward, and that is something I support. Neural DSP, everything they put out is awesome sounding, so yeah, Quad Cortex. Number five on my favorite gear of 2020 is the Music Nomad Precision Setup Gauge Set. This is a very, very simple, small and compact set that combines six different things you need to set up your guitar. I love everything from Music Nomad. I have a bunch of their stuff that I use to set up my own guitars and this kind of consolidates some very important gauges that you need to set up your guitar. Coming in at number six, the revised Troy Van Leeuwen Fender Jazzmaster. I am a huge fan of Troy's 
original version uh, of his signature guitar with Fender. The revised version is even nastier. It's just the colors different, everything. It's uh, the vibe is just leveled up for 2020. Very well done. Um, I love me a jazz master. I love Troy and his other, his last jazz master was really, really comfortable to play and sounded amazing. And I'm sure this one's no different. Coming in at number seven is the Warm Audio Foxy Tone Box fuzz pedal that I had on this channel a couple of months ago. One of the finest fuzz pedals I have ever had on this channel, in my opinion. I really, really liked that pedal. And yeah, as far as fuzzes goes, it's classic. Also sounds modern. Also just really, really sounds good. I don't know, what more can you say about a fuzz? Awesome, I love this fuzz. The number eight for my favorite gear of 2020 is the Sterling Jared Dines Signature Stingray. Uh, Jared is a friend of mine, as you guys know, he's been on this channel many times. However, his guitar felt and sounded really, really awesome. Big old neck. You can still shred on it though, if you want. Not that I would know anything about shredding. Sounds great. It's great for chugs. It's great for little clean, delicate parts and everything in between. Great guitar, great price. I think it's less than 700 bucks at the time of this filming. Yeah, great guitar. Number nine of my favorite gear of 2020 is the Soldano SLO 30. Now the SLO 100, which is right next to me right here, is a classic, is the grandfather of all high gain amps as we know it. However, uh, Soldano never really made a smaller version of the SLO circuit. Yeah, there was variations, but the SLO 30 is new, small, and just as huge sounding as the SLO 100. Very, very nice, and it sounds, oh, just, oh, it sounds. Mm, mwah. Next on my most favorite gear of 2020, we have the Music Man Sabre. This is a brand new model for Music Man, and I actually have one right here. Uh, this is mine that I bought, and I love it. Uh, handcrafted, and it's luxuriously painted. Not painted, well, this one isn't painted. This is obviously has a flame maple top, but this is one of my favorite guitars I own. It feels great, it sounds great, it's reliable, stays in tune. Everything you want from a really, really nice guitar is in the Sabre. It just, it just looks good, right? And last but not least for my favorite gear of 2020, we have the Line 6 Pod Go. Now the Pod Go is obviously reviving the Pod series in name only. Um, it's using a modified Helix architecture uh, underneath the hood, so to speak. But this is a cost effective way to get into some of the more expensive Helix tones. Comes with an expression pedal and a whole bunch of tones and yours truly has a patch from the factory right on it. Very, very cool, very awesome, and very nice for weekend gigs, travel, all sorts of stuff, and it won't break the bank while letting you do just that. I will link down below in the description for all the stuff I have talked about on my favorite gear of 2020 list. Shout out to our friends at Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you. And then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video, Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.